Hello everybody, this is Sherry at djcentry.blogspot.com and today we are going to make a Christmas card. Now this one is pretty simple um, and so you could easily reproduce it. However, it just depends on how many that you want to make. Um, by the time I'm set and done, I will have made 13 of these. Um, but they are five by seven cards. So when you're thinking about your mass production, you might want to think about that because it is going to take more card stock um, because you can't you get two card bases out of a single eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Um, because I'm using foam tape, it took quite a lot of foam tape. So that's just something to think about. But as far as simplicity, and in my opinion, um, simple elegance, these cards are wonderful. So let me show you some of the supplies that I have. I'm using Versamark ink and I'm also using a Versamark pen that I have um, and you'll see that later. I'm using Ranger or Carvel Black ink. I'm using this texture fade. Um, this is a new one this year from Tim Holtz. Um, the number on it is 664247. This is a gorgeous texture fade. It's a 3D one, and so I am using that. And that por portion is already done. I have this Princess Gold Embossing Powder from Ranger. I am using, um, my front greeting is a greeting from this um, set from Tim Holtz. This is the Poinsettia, which is uh, CMS 426. This is also a new set that he um, came out with this year, but all I'm using from it is just the, the main greeting on the front of the card. And then I'm using for the inside of the card, I'm using a very, very old stamp set um, from close to my heart called Everlasting Life Holidays. I don't believe it's still available, so just so that you're aware. Now the first thing that I did, um, or that we're going to do is we're going to do the inside of the card. So I have prepped my card base and um, it is seven inches tall by 10 inches wide. I'm going to grab my score board here and we are just going to score that at five inches. Um, so you will have a five by seven card. So um, just score that, set it down. Um, I don't usually use this particular bone folder when I am smoothing down the edges, but we will this time. So, um, simple card base, but as you see, you can only get one of those um, out of a piece of cardstock. And that really doesn't matter if you're using a um, 12 by 12 or a 8.5 by 11. Either way, you're only going to get one card base. So now I'm going to open up the inside of the card, and I'm going to stamp my internal sentiment first. So I'm just going to pull my little... Um, foam thing from the Close to My Heart insert. I'm going to grab my archival black ink and we are just going to ink up the stamp. This one is um, John 316. Um, For God so of the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. This is a beautiful um, script for inside the card. I just love the way it uh, turns out. And of course with the archival ink, um, it's nice and crisp and we are all done. So that is the inside of the card. Um, I went through and did the rest of um, the other 12 cards that I made um, with this in just a matter of a few minutes. So the inside's done and now we are going to work on the front of the card. But to do that, I'm going to set this aside and I am going to pull out the, the embossed part. Uh, part. Now, I'm not sure how well you can see that on video. I, I actually, from what I'm looking at, it looks like it's pretty uh, distinctive that you can see the embossing and all of the texture that that gives. So I have my little embossing um, bag here and I am running it over the whole card because I'm using um, different um, products that I am going to be embossing. So we're going to start with the sentiment. Now this sentiment is kind of interesting because um, the first time that I cut it or that I stamped it and embossed it when I was starting these cards, um, after I embossed it, I thought that I had missed a spot because there was a little a hole, I guess you could say, in the um, greeting. And then I realized, no, I hadn't missed it. That's just part of the vintage feel of the um, sentiment and, and the way that that stamp was designed. So don't um, think that you have missed a spot because you probably haven't. So now I'm going to take my pen and I am just going to go over the raised centers of the poinsettias. And that's all I'm going 
to go over. Now you can see why I did the embossing um, buddy or embossing pal or powder bag, whatever you want to call it, um, over the whole card because I don't want static and especially with all of that um, raised embossed um, from the dry embossing, I don't want powder to linger in those raised spots. I only want it to be where I applied the pin and where I stamped the sentiment. So um, I put it all over and then I just tap it off. And you can see right here, this is the spot that it looks like you missed a spot, but that really is how the stamp is. And um, when you look at the stamp, you can kind of see, well, probably not so much, in in the light but you can see there's a gap in there and that's intentional it just gives it that nice vintage feel so um, i'm going to put the rest of that in my back in my bottle it takes so little um, embossing powder and then i'm going to take that to my heat gun and i'm going to set it um, with heat now i'm not going to do that on camera um, there's lots of videos that show how to do that and so what i did is i prepped one that's already um, embossed and you can see that gold and it's just golden white just simple elegance and um, that's all i'm doing to it so now on the back side i have taken and put foam tape now i have used a lot of foam tape on these um what will be 13 cards it takes quite a bit so that's another thing to think about if you're going to use this to mass produce maybe you want to cut it down a little bit you could probably cut it right up next to your um, floral design and then maybe go over it um, with a um, maybe put your sentiment on a sentiment strip and in fact I may make some like that just because it was so simple and I still have a lot of cards to make I may go back and um, make some like that and if I do I'll come back and add that to the end of the video so that you can see how that's different but there we have the entire card see how quick and easy that was even taking the time to cut and, and emboss and do the dry embossing once you have your idea it goes together very very quickly so um, like I said I may uh, cut a couple more of these and just kind of play with it and see if I can um, maybe use a lot more um, make smaller cards and make a lot more of these just because they are so simple um, so I'll come back and show you that so there's our card and I do want to show you one variation that I made and I kind of debated on which one I liked better this one I went around the edges with festive berries um, distress ink and just kind of gave that little pop of red around the edge so these are the two different cards i think it really just depends on what look you're going for i think overall overall i like this one better um, it's just very simple very elegant much quicker to put together but if you are looking for a little pop of color you could always go through and do that so um, there we have this card um, thanks for stopping by today and remember take some time to enjoy the little things have a great day bye